Courtney and Pam here with another Kokomo Post mini tries, and today we are trying something delicious, Etta's Gooey Goodies. It's so hard for me to get that out. <laughs> I cannot wait to try these. They look absolutely delicious. Yeah, they do. So how about we put these out on our plate, show everybody how beautiful they yeah. are, and uh, dig in because we have a lot of flavors to uncover <laughs> we here. We do. Okay, so we have the beautiful macarons out on our plate. These are mm -hmm. seriously gorgeous. Etta's Gooey Goodies is located in Greentown. They have a new establishment, and uh, you can also find them at the Kokomo Farmer's Market. And Pam, you went and visited them, and mm -hmm. you have the details on Etta's Gooey Goodies. Yeah, so first, um, let me tell you a little bit about the flavors that we're gonna be trying today. Um, she gave us raspberries and champagne, fruity pebbles, and birthday cake. And she said these are their top two. So I'm interested to try because those wouldn't be the first two that I reach for. So yeah. I'm interested to try them. Then we have taffy apple and then a twisted citrus, which I think is like a lime and mango with yeah. some spice. And then the last one is an almond orange. So um, they are beautiful. She gave us some, some of her top picks. And I can't wait to try these. It's a really, really cool local business. The, the macarons are, so delicate and so beautiful. Each one of them is like a work of art. If yeah. you don't know what they are, it's like an egg white um, cookie that is hard on the outside, but when you bite into it, it's soft. And then there's homemade buttercream in the middle that that's what gives it its flavor. So an incredible small business named after her daughter. Um, I cannot wait to give these a try. Okay, so the first one we're going to try is raspberry and champagne, and this one looks so tasty. I know. It has glitter on it too, so it has it's, to be good. It's beautiful. Each one of these are like a work of art, yeah. seriously. Kind of feel bad eating it, but not that bad. I'm mm. ready to try it. Yeah, let's give it a try. Okay. It's really tasty. Mm -hmm. It's delicate. The raspberry is so good. Yeah. Okay. I like how you have a whole lot of texture in there. Mm -hmm. Like the crunchy shell, the soft inside, the uh, delicious gooey goodies in the middle. <laughs> it's delicious. Okay, so the next one that we're trying is Fruity Pebbles. I'm kind of excited about this because- A little throwback. A little throwback. Childhood, love Fruity Pebbles. So, you ready to give this one a try? Let's give it a try. All right. It's fruity, like pebbles. fruity Pebbles. Yeah. I bet you I haven't had a bowl of Fruity Pebbles in 25 years. Yeah. This tastes just like Fruity Pebbles. It really does. It's really good. It's good. Really crunchy, that one. Yeah. The texture's a little bit different. For sure. I can see why this is one of her top sellers. My kids would love this. Oh, for sure. Okay, so the next one that we're trying is birthday cake. You really can't go wrong with anything no. birthday cake flavored. Yum. So love let's it. just get into it. Okay. So good. This one's my favorite so far. Mm -hmm. I love the sprinkles on top too. What do you do? Yeah, just this a, is really good. Just a little extra texture there. And again, oh, glitter. good. Yum. Yeah. Okay, this next one is taffy apple. And this one is probably the closest that we're gonna get to fall flavors for now. But I would keep an eye on Etta's Gooey Goodies because I'd be willing to bet they're gonna be rolling out some other pumpkin spice, chai inspired flavors in the future. So let's give this one a try. All right. This is so different than the other ones. Very different. You can really taste the peanut butter in that. Mm -hmm. And I think that you mentioned, you read the flavors that were in this beforehand. Do you remember exactly what was in this one? There's peanut butter, caramel, and like apple butter. Yeah, this really is tasty. really good. This really is a good fall treat. For sure, a really delicious fall treat. Okay, this next one is the twisted citrus. And I'm gonna need your help with this one because I don't know how to pronounce one of these words. It's lime, it's mango, and it's Tahin, and hopefully I'm pronouncing yes. it right as well. So I'm expecting a little bit of heat with this one, yeah. which is something that's really interesting to me. And I love spicy, as you know, so let's give this one a try. Let's give it a try. This is so good. It almost tastes like a cocktail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really good. That is really good. I wasn't so sure about this one to begin with because it's kind of like a cookie with yeah. spice in it, the spiciness, but it's really good. That's what, I feel like that is inspired by a cocktail. Yeah. So good. Okay, let's see what's next. 
Okay, this last and final one is almond orange. Um, I love anything almond flavored and also orange flavored, so let's give this one a try. Let's give it a try. You can really taste the orange in it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so good. Mm-hmm. Gosh. Are we gonna have to pick our favorites because this may be a difficult decision. Is that one your favorite? Maybe. Yeah. That's really good. Difficult decision, but I think we should probably talk about which one actually is our favorite. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so I guess it's that time that we do pick our favorite. I'm gonna have to go with the taffy apple. I really love that one. It had a lot of flavor going on. Yeah. I like the caramel drizzle in it, the peanut butter. I will definitely be grabbing one of those from Etta's sometime again soon. A delicious fall treat. What about you? It is a delicious fall treat. I'm gonna go with the raspberries and champagne. I know it was the first one we tried, but it's so delicate. I love the raspberry flavor. It's such a dainty little treat. Perfect with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Definitely my favorite pick. All right, Pam, so those were all delicious. I think that I'm gonna be on a little bit of a sugar high for the rest of the day. Me too. But uh, if you guys wanna try out any of these delicious treats, make sure you stop by the Kokomo Farmer's Market, pick up Etta's gooey goodies, and make sure you stop by their Greentown location, which I hear is still under construction, mm -hmm. but uh, it'll be up and ready to go soon, and follow their Facebook page to stay updated on that. Make sure you tune in another day for another tries. Kokomo Post Minis tries. No, that's not it. No. Are you mini? I'll be Daisy. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so. Starting at your 12 o'clock. <laughs>